Okay, let's talk about some golf. As you know, my website, cecilpeters.com, primary focus for me is golf. That's my dream, that's my passion, that's my identity, that's what I do. I am interested in other things like disc golf, practicing golf, stuff like that. Website's about golf, for the most part. It's about getting better, improving yourself, chasing your dreams. But my dream's golf, so I gotta run it through that. All right, first of all, Let's take a second to acknowledge my sweet background. It's like cloth and wood at the same time. That's how you know you've made it big. You got a background, okay? Cloth, wood, flows, airy, beautiful, great stuff. Highly recommend. Second thing, let's talk about my golf game, all right? I'm fucking playing some golf right now. That's out of control how good I am at this game, right? I started the year I was shooting, I think last year, I shot in the 90s a couple times. I think I might have, I don't think I broke 90 at all last year, but I didn't really keep track. And when I did, I cheated because it fucking sucked and you didn't run right 100. So third tee ball, you're counting the ball and it's stuff like that. No big deal. Wasn't trying to become an amazing golfer, so whatever, it doesn't matter. Realistically, probably never broke 100. This year, I start the year around 100, 90s. All right, let's break 90, break 90. All right, let's break 80, break 80. Break 80 felt good. I mean, now I'm trying to break par. I've hit a 73 once, 77 today, 75 once, a couple 79s mixed in. I know I got it in me. I can par every hole in the golf course, right? Hole number one, easy par. Hole number two, I fucking, I take bogey on hole number two all the time. It's not even a hard hole, all right? It's driver, it's generally a wedge, and I'm always three putting. I'm in the wrong spot on the green. I miss the green and I have a shitty chip. I don't, I don't fucking know. Always getting bogey on that hole, right? Like any golf course, a couple hard stretches, a couple easy stretches. Today, I played pretty well on the back nine. Took advantage of the easy stretch, got a few birdies. Front nine, didn't take advantage of the easy holes. Fucked up the tough holes. Shitty stuff. I'm getting better every time I go out though, right? Like I figured out my driver, how to hit this draw, and I don't hit it every time. Hey, it's not perfect. There's a couple times today where I tried to hit the draw and it went straight, kind of got in trouble. Kind of hit a couple fades that weren't great. But for the most part, I know how to hit the draw. It's just executing, right? I'm just inconsistent. I know how to hit all the shots. I hit the best eight iron of my life today. 172 yards out, back, left, pin. I aim for the right side of the green, or I lined up for the right side of the green. Intentionally hit a draw. Thing flew up, landed, rolled to three feet. I, one of the best shots of my life fucking missed the putt it was like three feet missed the putt easy birdie no par hey next hole i think i two putted for bogey from short like i'm just not putting it all together when i get it close i'm not making the putts gone on the back nine started making some fucking putts made a 25 ish footer for birdie on one hole hey par five i chipped it to a couple inches for a tap in birdie had a six foot birdie that i ended up making on hole number 16 so it's there the game's there i can make birdies Okay? And one of these days, I'm going to go out there, I'm going to have a round where I putt pretty well, and I don't make the bogeys, and I make a couple birdies. I don't even think I'm going to hit par, right? I don't think I'm going to shoot par. I don't know why I'm saying hit par. That sounds so fucking stupid. I don't think I'm going to shoot par. I think when I hit par, fuck, that's dumb. God, that's bad. When I shoot par, that must be so brutal for an actual legitimate golfer to hear. Yeah, when I hit par, I hit a 75, I hit a 73. That's awful. Don't ever say that shit. When I shoot par, I don't think it's going to be a 72 on this course. I think I'm going to shoot a 69, 70, 71. I don't think it's going to be even par. I think I'm breaking par. Okay? And it's going to ha I'm trying to get it to happen this month. I got a few more tee times. I think we're breaking par this month. I don't know for sure. If not September, 100%. Okay? Golf game's coming along nice. Can't complain. Okay? Other things going on with the site. Trying to put an article or two up every day. Putting out some bets. I, here's the thing about posting bets, right? Anybody who posts bets probably is a losing golf better. Any any sport, right? Okay? If you're posting bets and charging for them, you're guarant it's guaranteed that you're losing, right? Like the reason that you're charging money for your picks is because your actual bets aren't making any money. The actual people that make money betting on sports, they're not charging anybody for their picks because they just make money with them. Right? And you look at all these sports books now, everybody Every fucking company in the world has a sports betting article at some point. 
And stupid, Forbes has a golf betting article. It doesn't make any sense. Like, what are you guys doing? There's golf equipment companies, or golf equipment websites, Golf WRX or something. Talk about golf equipment, all that stuff. All of a sudden, they got a golf betting podcast. What are you talking about? You guys talk about the clubs. It doesn't even, like, it doesn't even make sense. So I put out a couple picks every week. I hope people tail them because it's fun. It's been fun so far. I haven't hit the winners, but that I like that's not the point, right? I'm not I'm not trying to make a living betting on golf. I'm gonna try to make a living betting on hockey when that kicks up. But golf's too fucking hard. I can't do it. I'm just betting it for fun. Okay, I had a couple great picks. Jim Herman, we had the first week. Okay. Thursday, he looked great. Second day, kind of tail off. It still looked pretty good, and then it fell off. But you got two days. That was 420. You got two days out of it, right? And the next week, Roger Sloan, after day one, looks like he's dead in the water, comes back. He's in a six-way playoff, okay? Six-man playoff. We got. I made one bet that week, I think. Maybe there was more. I can't fucking remember. One bet, Roger Sloan. Guy gets in a playoff. Just doesn't quite get it done. But we had him right till the end, right? We had full entertainment value. It was 149 to one or something like, you're wasting 20 bucks on it. And I got full entertainment value on it. Not bad. Would have liked a victory. Okay, and then last week, Harry Higgs never really threatened to win. But on Friday morning, he was in the top five. He played really well. If you bet him top 20 as well or something like that, you made money on him. Like, these guys are playing well. We've got some long shots that are doing well. I mean, it's fun. But you see these sports books and these magazines put out these, these picks, right? And the number one rule is... If you see a sports book hire somebody to give out picks to their people, that person, you're not tailing those picks and winning. Like what sports book in their right mind who makes money on people losing bets would hire a winning better to give out picks for people to tail? It doesn't make sense. If you're employed by a sports book to give out golf picks, you suck. Okay, you're probably entertaining, that's the point of it, but you fucking suck and that's the point. You're supposed to suck. You might even be bad on purpose. Right? Like if you're employed by a sports book and they want to make money, they want somebody who's entertaining, who's engaging, who people think, oh yeah, I'll follow that person. Yeah, I'll tail those bets. But those bets aren't going to win because if they do win, the sports book loses money. Sports books make money on people losing bets. You're not supposed to win. Right? So if it's a sports book and they're giving out advice on bets that you're going to place there, bad advice. If someone's charging for advice... They probably lose. That's why they need the money that they're charging. Okay? Pretty fucking simple. Okay? So you tail the bets if you want to have some fun. That way if we win, we win together and it's fun and it's exciting. If the picks suck and you just don't follow them, you can make fun of me when they lose. That's fine too. Whatever you get, whatever gets entertaining for you, whatever you need to get entertainment out of it, just do it. Okay? So we're doing that. We're doing some other articles about my golf game, obviously, round recaps and stuff. In the fall, I'm going to put out some full golf, I don't know, vlogs, they call them, video blogs. Just a couple full rounds of filming me playing the course. Hopefully, ideally, that's when I break par, right? When I film every shot and break par. Probably won't happen that way. Probably crumble under the pressure, but we'll see. Okay. Other thing we got going on with the website right now, best part, I think, the CP VIP chat, right? Very important person. What does it take to be a VIP? You just gotta be there, hey? Okay? Everyone's a fucking important person, right? Hey? Okay? And I know, you understand. People go, fuck, Cecil, you're kind of an asshole online. What do you mean you're calling everybody an important person? I'm kind of getting mixed signals. Hey, I get it, I give off some mixed signals, right? I want everybody to succeed. I got some guys in the VIP chat, great dudes. We're having a great time, talking food, talking lifestyle, talking golf, talking golf betting, all sorts of stuff, right? Great time, great guys. And then they'll see me on Twitter and they'll go, fuck, this Cecil guy's an asshole. Like, why, wouldn't, why would I join a chat with Cecil? And he's trying to lift other guys up and we're trying to support each other. And he's a fucking asshole online. Well, guess what? Hey, if I'm an asshole to you online, A, I'm doing it to you because I know you can take it and it's funny and I enjoy it. Or B, you're kind of being an arrogant fuck and I'm trying to put you in your place a little bit. It's not a big deal. Right? Fucking do the same to me. I don't give a shit. Hey, right? and in the VIP chat, we're all on each other's backs, man. We're all we're all a team. Everybody in there is pals, right? Hey, okay? fight on Twitter. Go at it on Twitter. Come to the VIP chat. We're best pals. Okay, talking about our bets, talking about our meals, talking. Fuck, 
I got guys in there bragging how many Starbucks stars they have on their Starbucks app. I, my, I showed my wife a screenshot. She's insanely jealous. This guy's got like 1,500 stars on his Starbucks app. He's living the dream. And then I'm going golfing every morning, tell them about my rounds. They think I'm living the dream. Guys eating Chick-fil-A for lunch three days a week. I think he's living the dream. Right? We got animal chat. People are showing me fucking horses, dogs. And I showed off my bunnies. Like all that shit. It's great. Hey, this is a VIP chat. It's been great. Everybody's enjoying it. Hey, that's where you see a bit of a different side of me. I'm the same guy. Right? But in the VIP chat, we're all friends. We're all pals. We're all there to support each other. Hey, online, if you're a fucking loser, a fucking asshole, we're coming after you. Hey, and not in a we're knocking down your door and we're trying to fight you kind of way. That doesn't make any sense. Hey, I'm not a bully. But if you're being a dumb fuck online, I'll just say it. And either you agree and think it's funny or you get pissed off. Who cares? Right, so that's the update on the site. Putting articles out every day. I'm going to move to more, more YouTube content and more videos shortly. As NHL gets old, I'll throw out videos every day, just tracking the NHL. I'll throw out some golf videos, but for right now, articles every day, VIP chat, that's where it's at. That's the update, CecilPeters.com.